Hi everyone and welcome to Game On. I'm Ms. Callie from the King Township Public Library and today we're going to be making our own mandala game which has a great history and is lots of fun to play and is really easy to set up. So let's get playing. Okay, so let's start by making our mandala game board. So we're going to start with an ink card and then we're just going to cut the lid and this flap off. There we go. And then you're gonna want two bowls on either side. I am using um, just some cereal, but you could use coins, puzzle pieces, dried beans, anything that's small that would fit into the um, wells of the um, egg carton. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna count out four pieces of our uh, playing material, in my case the cereal, into each well. So that'll be 48 in total. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So I've got some extra game pieces, so I'm just gonna get rid of them because we don't wanna get confused. So Mancala is a, um, has a long history um, and you can learn more by checking out the link below um, but it's a really great game for two people it takes about like five 15 minutes to play and it's not too hard once you kind of get the hang of it so we're gonna have our two players our frog and our dinosaur on each side and I'm just gonna kind of put them over to the side a little bit so you can see which bowl is theirs and like this is the dinosaur side and this is the frog side. This is also a game that you can start off without much strategy and then as you get to know it, you can introduce more strategy into the game to try and win. Now the objective is to have more of the game pieces, in this case cereal, in your bowl than your opponent does. So you don't want it to be an even split because then it's a tie game. You want more than those 24 game pieces. You can decide who goes first by flipping a coin, who's youngest, who's oldest, maybe you've got a dice you roll, however you want. And the first player is going to take out all of the game pieces from one spot and then slowly put one, each one, kind of as like a bread trail, breadcrumb kind of trail, through. Now, dinosaur is on this side, and this is dinosaur's bowl. So he would put it in his bowl. Now, if he was going over here, he would skip past frog's bowl. Okay, and same for frog. You don't put them in the other player's bowl. You just put them in the egg carton or your own bowl. But Dinosaur put the last game piece in the bowl, so Dinosaur gets to go again. So let's do this one. We've so got all four game pieces. And then you go one in the bowl and then one oops, on each side, ending there. Now that's fine to end there. Um, that's the end of Dinosaur's turn, so now it's Frog's turn. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I am going counterclockwise in the way that we are moving the game pieces. So I believe that was Dinosaur's turn, so let's go with Frog. Frog finally gets one. There we go. Dinosaur is going to go with this one. And the idea is that you want to get all of the game pieces on your side empty. Um, that's kind of when you would stop to count the pieces. So the last piece that I was moving went into an empty one. So now I get to take this one out and all the ones across from it. Because it was Dinosaur's turn, those are all going to go into Dinosaur's bowl. Okay, so let's keep playing. It is now Frog's turn. Frog's turn. You can see how once you get playing for a bit, this really goes really quickly. So 
this time the frog would not put any in the bowl and would just skip past and go there. And so because it landed in that empty spot, it gets this one and all of these ones. Frog's turn. Oh, and we got all of these ones. So you can see that if you're counting out and like really thinking about your moves, you could think about where to end up on those empty pieces, especially like that one had quite a few in it. So it really worked out well for Frog. Frog. Looks like maybe Frog is going to win this. Dinosaur, goes there. Frog, goes there. Dinosaur goes there. So Dinosaur got his side out first. So that means that Dinosaur also gets these two pieces in his um, end bowl. So now that all of the game pieces are gone, we're going to count. Frog's turn. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen for dinosaur. We can also count frogs, but we know that eighteen is less than half of forty-eight, so it doesn't look like one, but two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. We must have missed a piece maybe. Anyways, frog one. And um, yeah, check the link below for to learn more about the history of Moncal and to have a printable sheet with all of the rules. I hope you guys had fun and it's a really easy game that you can play with any household item. Hope you guys had fun and don't forget to check back for other summer reading club programs that we've got going on this summer. Bye!